Suppose the question says, find the directional derivative of function f at 1 and negative 2 in the direction indicated by theta equals to pi over 3. What do we have here? The function is also given to us. Recall that the directional derivative of function f at points a and b in the direction of unit vector u can be written as the rate of change of the function with respect to x-axis evaluated at a and b times cosine theta plus the rate of change of the function with respect to y-axis at point a and b times sine theta. Very good. So let's do the computation. f of x, or partial derivative of f, with respect to x. It means that our y is just a constant, am I right? So here we have 2x, y cubed, plus 8x cubed, y. If I want to evaluate f of x at the given point 1 and negative 2, I just substitute 1 for x and negative 2 for y. We get 2 times 1 times negative 2 to the third power plus 8 times 1 to the third times negative 2. So here we have 2 times negative 8 minus 16. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is negative 32. The directional derivative of function f at point 1 and negative 2 so far is, for this guy here, is negative 32 times cosine of y over 3 plus. Now we need the partial derivative of f with respect to y. f of y is partial derivative of f with respect to y. Again, when we are taking the partial derivative with respect to y, x is a constant. So take a look at this. x is a constant, so we get 3x squared y squared plus 2x to the fourth. So partial derivative of f with respect to y at 1 and negative 2. My x is 1, my y is negative 2. So let's just do the substitution. This becomes 3 times 1 squared, negative 2 to the second, plus 2 times 1 to the fourth, which is 3 times 4 plus 2, 12 plus 2, or 14. So plus 14, sine of 5 over 3. The directional derivative of function f at point 1 and negative 2 in the direction of unit vector u is going to be negative 32 times a half plus 14 times square root of 3 divided by 2. We can simplify this. Negative 60 plus 7 times square root of 3. You can use your calculator to approximate this number as well.